Why you try to take my life? Why? This goes out to all the Biafran kids who were starved to death by the Nigerian government. By the Nigerian government, for no reason. I say forgiveness is not in our dictionary. Nigeria must pay for this because we will not only remember the words of our enemy, but also the silence of our friends. Biafra, Biafra is here. Long live Biafra. Long live Biafra. Biafra, Biafra is here. Long live Biafra. Long live Biafra. Biafra has no end. A people of courage, of strong heart and spirit, who will not be punished, who cannot be oppressed, who will continue to fight until they hold freedom in their hands. Long live Biafra. Biafra, Biafra is here. Long live Biafra. Long live Biafra. Biafra, Biafra is here. Long live Biafra. Long live Biafra. Biafra, 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 Biafra. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. God bless our leader, Master Namkana. God bless our supreme leader, Master Uchimefa. God bless Biafra. God bless my country. There are 
are so many of them, and they are so exuberant, the Biafrans. Even the refugees sing, especially when they have just been told their homes have been recaptured and they can go back to them. They sing when they get their daily seal. Yes, once again, fellow Biafran lovers of freedom, men and women of goodwill, conscious people wherever you are all over the world. I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to some of you depending on your time zone. This is still Radio Biafra Extra and we are streaming live through Radio Biafra London being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Uchi Mefo. He is from Abatete, Abatete is in Anambra State and Anambra State is Biafra land. He is the man who have assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. Mazi Uchi Mefo is standing on a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader Mazen and Yoku Kano. The Prince of Afari Biku, heir to the throne of Ibiku Kingdom, the one and the only man who stood up to speak against injustice, to speak against corruption, to speak against all the evil, atrocity, heinous crime against humanity being perpetrated in this zoo called Nigeria, and above all, to speak for the collective interests of the Biafran people for almost. 50, 60 years now. He is from Afali Beku. Afali Beku is in Omwahia. Omwahia is in Abia State, and Abia State is Biafra land. And by the special grace of Chukuki Kabiyama, I remember George Uni Biyam from Abo. Abo is in Delta State, and Delta State is Biafra land. And of course, without wasting much of our time, we move ahead to acknowledge the Creator, Chukuki Kabiyama, the one who sits in heaven and presides over the affair of man. In my humble way, I will say to him, as always, Anyena jage mau, nezioku ne mara mai, ehona nya ne nagi ubi omage, ojuru nya nya dadio ingwe gimbangwe o odi onye dekage. Ebu wa fa no mega ani ni ne na se na ne de mau. And of course, without wasting much of our time, we shall be moving ahead to our topic this evening, which is simply titled "The True Reflection of Nigerian Leader as Characterized." Rather, the true reflection of Nigerian leaders. Nigerian leader's character as manifested in the life of Buhari. We are going to use Buhari as a case study to re-evaluate, re-cross-examine the character of Nigerian leader. All Nigerian leader from as far as you remember that name, Nigeria, they have the same character. But with Buhari, being impersonated in Asu Rock by Jubri. Let us tell the world who they really are. Because some people don't understand. Why are they complaining? Why are they talking about Biafra? Why are all these secession? Only those who are benefiting from the loot. Only those who are embezzling the so-called Zoological Republic Fund. Only those who the current state is favoring. <laughs> they are the only ones that will say so anyway. But then we continue saying it so that the ignorant one will be enlightened. And they will be able to understand the reason why we do what we do and what we shall do. All the Nigerian leaders from the beginning to the end are the same. Not because they went to the same school or that they are related, but because they are controlled by the same manner from British government. And all the high commissioner of most countries in the world, right here in Nigeria, are playing vital roles to ensure the successful implementation of these rules. 
as it is written in the manual. This very broadcast, I must tell you, is specially dedicated to the new American ambassador to Nigeria. That she might help us to see the truth, to speak the truth, and to defend the truth. That the image and the reputation of American and her wonderful citizen may not be dampled because times are different. There are a lot of things they do we ignore, but not anymore. I am talking about Mary Beth Leonard, the newly resumed new ambassador of America in Nigeria. Because we have so many high commissioners and ambassadors here in Nigeria. They collect their own percentage. All these ambassadors representing Europe, America, all of them, they are accomplished of part of the problem in Nigeria. And so what we're actually saying is the new ambassador should do well to represent the American people. Because the foundation of America was laid with the blood of the guilt and with the blood of the innocent. Good men and women died as well. Of course, she's not an alien to the decoration of independent of America. I don't, I love those words. He said, let it be known that time in and time out, the blood of the guilt and the innocent will be used to refresh the tree of liberty. America was a nation built by men and women on the expense of people's blood that it might be a beacon of hope to humanity. And I'm sure that the new American ambassador to Nigeria will not join the list of these people because you can join the money remove them. And as such, she should look. She should observe. She should watch. And don't let Americans down here in Nigeria. We want you to see what is happening. We want to enlighten all of you so you know what they are doing in the name of Nigeria. The atrocity British government committed saying they are creating country. And then let us see those who will come out and give us reason and justify why Nigeria must remain. And then we will pay for any wrong we might have caused as a result of that. We will make amends if that is what it will take. By every means. But we tell you, you lie. So many a lie. But it's obvious. Those of you on Facebook, that is Nigeria Muslim. It's a Father Christmas. That is to tell you. Somebody send it to the American ambassador who has just resumed work in Nigeria. That is a Muslim. Buhari brother. And he's going to dress like this. And he's going to move into the church. And he's going to kill somebody. And they are going to say he's Christian. But little did he know there was somebody videoing them. Because where they do their prayer, they have Nigerian army rounding them or protecting them. But some Christians who are gullible. Because when we talk about the churches, all the Christian leaders have allowed demons to come into the church and they want us to respect them. The same way we will deal with Nigeria, all the fake, fake Yoruba church here in Nigeria, all of you will go down with Nigeria. We don't fight against Jesus Christ. We don't fight against any religion. We fight against idiot hiding in the guise of religion. That is how far this since when did Jesus Christ and Muhammad start worshipping in the same center? Oh, somebody is going to say, okay, uh, 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 one word religious order. Okay, that is where we are going to write. But we shall know who is deceiving who at the end of the day. We must understand that most of the atrocity going on in Nigeria have been successfully covered up because most of these expatriates, ambassadors, high commissioner, they are part of the plan. They just collect money, including FBI of America. Because if they can see Igbo men, 88 of them, doing 419 in America, but yet they are in every office of the high commissioner and ambassador in Nigeria, they are not seeing anyone. And then it looks to me they know something. But we shall know at the end of the day. Does it mean it's America? Everybody in America are holy people. Some children of Satan are in the corridor of power in America. When Obama was doing all these things he was doing, many people did not believe our leader, but he was the president of America. 
And so everybody, it's time for them to respect themselves. But all of them are the same character. But we hope they will change for the good of all of us. No matter what they do, if they fail to change, dismember this zoo called Nigeria. We will expose every one of them who gets in our way. Because this is the only thing that can ensure our survival. And we must survive by every means necessary. These are some of the things that you must that you must understand and be on the lookout for when it comes to Nigerian politicians and their leader. We will look into their, those issues tonight by narrating the very characteristics that is being manifested by the impersonator in Asu Rock, Jubri. Let us assume he is Buhari. Because Buhari, when he was alive, is a sinner and a terrorist. And when he died, the person impersonating him is worst sinner and a terrorist. But everything Buhari did, that is exactly what British government does in Nigeria. That is exactly what Nigerian politicians does. All of them. You see, there is something they do. So sometimes I have said that as far as the regime of Obasanjo, Julius Berger said they will not construct any road, not in the southeast nor south south. But I have seen many roads under the guise of being in, under construction by Julius Berger. But it's not Julius Berger. And I think Germans should begin to question Julius Berger because they are part of the corruption in Nigeria. Julius Berger tied only the route in northern part of Nigeria. Because in Delta State, we told Julius Berger that he will not be paid with crude oil. Julius Berger should collect billions of dollars as other criminals are coming to loot Nigeria and impoverishing Nigerian people. Julius Berger vowed that he will not construct any road in Biafra land. And they keep to it. If I ask somebody now, they will tell me that it's Julius Berger that constructs the flyover in Oye Mill. But it's a lie. Those of you in Port Harcourt now, go to Atelare. You will see the tractors they park there. They just bring one out, sold out Julius Berger tractor and pack it there to deceive you. That is the level of deception. Julius Berger don't hire tractor. But the Julius Berger constructing so-called flyover in River State, they are hiring tractor, sledgehammer. But they want to deceive us. And tell you what IPB is doing, they are lying, they are lying. But all of you don't know you are in for a deep shit because this is shit who and you are in for a deep shit but like i have said this tonight gospel is just dedicated to american ambassador in nigeria so that she will be very careful those who come across to her she should monitor them all the men who has came here compromise if america is the beacon of hope and lights to the world, as we have always thought they will be until Obama came and bring the camels back. And maybe this woman will have the privilege to make us see America truly great for who she is. Or if not, we put them side by side with Fulani headsmen. Because there is no difference between anybody who will kill us just to steal or yell on notice. And so let's give her this first sermon. But I believe they will do the right thing. Nigerian leader, they are all the same. Because they are under guide to they have a manual written from Britain, given to them. You break any of those manual, you malfunction. You malfunction in the process that they will remove you and they discipline you. And now they have to do that to us. Because there will be no room for these fools to continue toiling with our life. That is why we are here. Most people will not understand. Number one aspect we are going to look at regarding Jubri, Buhari. They asked Buhari to give account of 2.8 billion pounds NMPC fund in 1983. Listen to that amount. I want somebody to go back and calculate the value of 2.8 billion pounds. 2.8 billion pounds. Buhari give account. 
The next thing he did was to overthrow the newly democratic elected president, Alahaji Shewu Shagari. Why did he do that? Why did Britain not revolt? Why did Britain not talk? Because Buhari gave that money to Britain. He only went there and told them, see the new democracy you brought to, they have asked me to give account of these pounds. It's not in dollars. It's not in dollars. Buhari stole this money, started in Britain, they gave him his own share. And what Britain will do is to give you gone. Mobilize few men for you. Give them all you will. Collect some percentage. That is for the Yoruba settle. And at the end of the day, he overthrew the government of the day. So who will ask Buhari to give the account of that 2.8 billion pounds? I didn't say million. Billion pounds, you heard me. Nigeria would have been one of the richest countries in the world. After all, Dubai came to borrow money from Nigeria. Most people don't know. Dubai came to borrow money from Nigeria. So if today you are in Dubai as in Nigeria and they are dealing with you, don't blame them. Nigeria refused. Nigerian chased Ghana out of Nigeria. So if you are in Nigeria and Ghana and Ghana are locking up your shop, don't blame them. Just let them know you were not part of that evil because Nigeria chased them off. Nigeria is the country that Britain is using to undermine the sovereignty of the African people, if there is anything like that. But the same way you ask Buhari, come and give account, you overthrow the government of the day. That is how all of them do. The Kabas don't give account. That is why DSS, EFCC, ICPC, they don't go for them. That is how they work. All of them are the same. Because birds of the same feather flocks together. The only innocent people in Nigerian politics are those who have been indicted by the Nigerian state. Because that is what they do. We are taking Buhari as a case study. And I want to believe that at the end of tonight, Jubri will be very proud of himself. Number two, I'm talking to the High Commissioner of America to understand that we are all watching all of them. But we believe she will do the right thing. They asked Buhari to encourage Fulani Hesmen to obey grazing law in Oyo State. That was in 1989. Buhari threatened more Fulani attack in Oyo State if they ever say it again. But he was the one who told you that uh, foreigners are Fulani Hesmen and Buku Haram. He was the one who told you that they, 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 they are common criminal. They don't carry AK-47. They are just with stick. But he's still the same person that is incorporating the same full and Since 1989, you, they have been making this plan. And now they are the Nigerian army because all of them have been incorporated into the Nigerian army. But today, Obama, president of America, chased good luck out of office just to make sure Fulani Hesmen, Miati Allah, and Boko Haram remain terrorizing the people of Nigeria. American ambassador newly assigned to Nigeria looking to the matter. As you breathe about all these things, I know he has no knowledge of what I'm saying. Number three, they asked Buhari to obey election guideline and respect the outcome of election. Buhari threatened the whole Nigeria that their blood, the blood of baboon, will be soaked in their own blood. That monkey and baboons will be soaked in their own blood. But this is the same person all of you are clapping. Oh, he's a man of integrity. But Buhari said so. I didn't say so. Oga, obey INEC. Accept the outcome of any election. He said if I don't win, all the monkey and blood, baboon, Will be soaked in their own blood. But these are people that want to implement hate speech. Too. But, but that is law speech anyway. I beg your pardon. Sorry. It's a law speech. So if I come out here and say every Nigerian monkey and babu, because that is what they are, they will be soaked in their blood. Somebody said they threaten people, they cause people. But your man of integrity said this. Buhari said that. Or well, most of you have forgotten. Number four, they asked Buhari to make comment about the root, loot of Abacha. Buhari told the world that Abacha is not corrupt. Abacha is not corrupt, but Allah Messiah is corrupt. Abacha is not corrupt. Number five, 
you people should look into Nigeria issue. Nigeria has committed the very sin that Satan did not commit. British government have committed sin that do not have name here inside Nigeria, in the guise of one Nigeria. And when I look at youth like myself, people who are supposed to be mourning for their future, tell you, hey, we're going to vote for Letitia, we're going to look into Buhari, he's a man of integrity. It is only Buhari that I'm looking into. But he's late anyway. The man fighting for corruption. But his son is riding a motorcycle that costs 500 million naira. His son, who has never been employed or worked anywhere since he was born, is one of the richest youth of Africa. In fact, he's the richest youth in Africa. Please. British, American ambassador, look into the issue of Nigeria. Because look into the issue of Nigeria. It will affect all of you. But who will betide any man or woman who will lie against the Biafran people thinking they will have their way? They will not. Let's go back to history and find out those who undermine the sovereignty of Biafra and killed innocent men and women. Children, I must tell you, in millions. Today, their life can never be the same. But though we are still here, but not for very long. They asked Buhari to declare his asset. Buhari says it's not compulsory. He persecuted all the people that asked him to declare his assets by making all of them declare their assets. But for him, it's not compulsory. This is one Nigeria. But British government are watching all the way, looking for a way to come against IPOB. But we are waiting for all of you. That is what Nigerian politicians and government does. They asked Buhari to show his school certificate. The next thing Buhari was to do was to go and hire 15 son to defend him in court. He's an integrity man. Oh boy, where is your certificate? This is the person ruling one Nigeria. If you people like, remove Jubri. The same thing Buhari is doing. That is what all of them are doing because they are the same people. It is the same motto, but a different driver. It is the same people. They asked Buhari to declare his head statue. Buhari said it's his privacy because British government knew he is dead. They couldn't bring the report of Buhari because it will indict them in the future. So they told Nigerians. We cannot give you Buhari head statue. That is his privacy. But do you know if you want to work in, in Oye company, like ordinary share, ordinary criminal entity, criminal company known as Shell, SPDC, do you know they will check your uh, genealogy test, you will do your blood group test, you will do your, what do they call them? There is no test you will not do, both Ebola, both uh, HIV. But there is no test a share will not do you before they employ you. Are you telling me Nigeria will have a president without first ascertaining his head status? But of course, if it's in Nigeria, British government will stop at nothing. To the extent that the dead man is now ruling Nigeria. And all of them are sitting and they're happy. They asked Buhari to give account how much his government is subsidizing or spending for his head and parking private jet in London. Buhari said Nigerians do not have right to do that. And some people are saying, hey, impeach Trump, impeach Trump. It's what is good for the goose, not good for the ganja. Why are they not shouting to impeach Buhari? And some Yoruba idiots are there telling them, is it addition or they call him, who made American police? We are now begging America to come and police Nigeria. For truth's sake, they must, the world must police Nigeria. That is why we are here already, Biafra. They loot Nigeria money in the name of parking plane in London. And so Britain make more money. Building cities out of the misery of our people. 
for how long will this continue? American High Commissioner, look at all of them. When they come to your office smiling, these people are evil people. When they tell you good morning, check your time. These people are evil people. But all of you will encounter Nigeria for what she truly is. They asked Buhari to declare headsmen. To declare headsmen as terrorists. He said no. Rather, he said IPUB is terrorists. Fulani headsmen, everybody know they are terrorists. Miati Allah, everybody know they are terrorists. Boko Haram, everybody know they are terrorists. But Buhari preferred to declare IPUB. It is our right to self-determination. It is our right to civil disobedience. We are not yet killing anybody. But we are the terrorists in Nigeria. American new ambassador, this message is just for you tonight. You must know Nigerian and tell America who Nigerian truly is. Not as if they don't know. But as the woman on ground, say the truth. For the sake of good people of America. Because if not, if not, today BBC and CNN would have written jargon, assassinate, lynch us with the media. But we are waiting for them. Is it not only Radio Biafra? The world will know them who they are. Watch Nigeria and you will understand the kind of crime that have been committed against the people of Biafra. Fulani headsmen, Miati Allah and Boko Haram are eligible to be reincorporated into Nigerian military. But anybody with the flag, flag of Biafra will be charged for treason and maybe shoot aside. And when you see them giving this order, you think it's human being that are speaking. This is animal in human skin. Buhari was invited to put a panel to give account of his atrocity. He knows crime he committed, the genocide against the Biafran people. Buhari told them that they don't have the right to invite him. Buhari is claiming to fight corruption. But he was placed in office by corruption money. Who are asked Chibuike Amechi? Who are asked the governor of Kanu State? Who are asked Adam Sushumole? But he's fighting corruption. But this is what they do in Nigeria. The same thing Buhari is doing. That is what all the governors are doing. That is what all the past president and past governors are doing. But what prompted this night message is because all the world ambassador who has their offices in Nigeria end up collecting percentage, their own share of the loot and support Nigeria. Now we are following all of you up. As far as we are concerned, almost all of them in Nigeria are evil. All the ambassadors, they have all been paid off. And for those who mean well for humanity, I think it is time for all of you to recall your ambassador from Nigeria and send the best of sincere ones you have. Because we will not spare anybody. In as much as you people will not spare us in your land. In as much as most of you who are even feeding from the resources that is stolen in our land, you are the one helping them to even kill us. For how long are we going to shout for freedom before the world will do what they ought to do? But we understand how it works. And we will respond at the right time. And so, Biafran should not let anybody deceive them in the name of one Nigeria. Nigeria never existed. Nigeria will never be except for a den of thieves. The looters heaven and a convenient place for some of the so-called world power to steal on notice. A place where they carry out experiment of evil. You can see Father Christmas inside mosque. You can see Father Christmas inside mosque. That is the height of evil you can know or what you need about Nigeria. Alliance are open. And please, when you call, I want you to help us send a message across to the globe. Any governor in Nigeria you know who is a thief, let's tell the world what they stole 
who they really are and all the atrocity. Sometimes we, we, we pay them compliments. In their TV now, they are praising themselves. Let's tell the world who they really are. They impoverish you and then they come to a rent crowd and then they, they now give them 500. They now begin to call them philanthropist, humanitarian. They steal billions from you and they give you Kobo, 100. Be our friends who wake up. We will continue exposing Nigeria for all her crime. But do not make mistake. They will not stop until we do what is necessary. And to do what is necessary, every Biafran must come together. Because the time is winding up. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Bible clearly shows where the true Israelites are and where the Messiah is going to gather his people. Judah, he's going to gather from the four corners of the earth. But the other tribes, he will gather from beyond the rivers of Cush in Africa. <laughs> In the late night, they came and blew us away. And like the thief in the night, they came and stole it away. We've been in the bondage for so long, we need a light. All the dear friends should stand up, rise up for your freedom. It's a freedom song. Freedom song, and together we save our life. Yeah, for more religion, believe and it's your culture. Now we are no ones, so no more free things. We gotta go. Our tradition is live and let live, but they are killing us now. We need to we need to stand and spin. We need a red and black to it to make it work out. We need to be like born Better and we fighting for our freedom. So you gotta stand up, searching for the garden of Eden. Oh. We are freedom fighters, light of the lighter. We fight to leave everybody stand to fight for your freedom. So tell the people, tell the world, tell the nation, let them know. Many people are dying. Oh, our children need to see. How long are we gonna live like this? Fighting for the future of the children, the hope of the rising sun. We will keep on believing and fighting to the end of time. We can't we we won't. Babylon them walk us off in the way they totality them can never see. The rising of the sun. The future of tomorrow. Now give them the strength they need.
brand new dawn. The land of freedom rising song, that is my new home. I know that we can, we stick to the plan, but that we're headed for freedom. One piece of jumping around this room, that's where we own the kingdom. People who live, we can have it. All of the dreams are united. Think of our things that we can achieve. Let out this song for all my people to ram it, though. Freedom without no chains, fast when we run the brains. Then it was a freedom fight, a pile of sides and dried up. I'm a freedom fighter, I can never walk away. We the rising sun, we are here to stay. The fighting for our rights, it's how to make it right. It's not a crime for you to fight all that to get so far. Everything they say, you have a time. This is our time, let's rise and fight for freedom. We are living in the prison of our own creation, but we must. We will more than We wonder why you discrimination everywhere. The world of the poor and the one of the rich. You are fighting with God, I am fighting with God. I'm showing you love, you are showing me God. After much rain, the sun will shine again. As we can see, monkey and donkey, they are not the same. Senior Rasta Mam, did not tell you how I feel. In the middle of the day, my make a fist of it. Yes, yes, I can take it, take it no more. Say the skill in you is getting too far. The gospel is all about freedom. Anybody coming to have any dealing with Nigeria should be very careful. And also respect themselves. Because what has been done to us as a people, it shows nobody really have regard for us. Like I said, our lines are open at this moment. Be our friends wherever you are all over the world. If we don't save our, the next generation, we are gone as a people. If we don't stand up by every means necessary, we are gone as a people. Where is Yoruba church? Don't then come to this mosque and see Father Christmas. Boko Haram now doing Father Christmas. We told you churches, they are coming for all of you. But we will keep saying it so that at the end we will be justified in our action. Our lines are open. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. 070-815-45642. Four five six four two. You are a beer friend, you are yet to join IPUB. Send your name, your location, and your phone number to this WhatsApp line. The nearest coordinator will contact you. Our direct line is 081-221-52971. 081-221-52971. And the special number for the female is 081-288. 58614. Don't let anybody deceive you. To them, they have concluded plan. They want to wipe us away. They need our land. They need the oil, but they don't want us. Please, our lines are open. Be free to call in and let us know what they are doing in your area. All they want, they want to wipe us out. Take our land, but they don't want us. Call and WhatsApp your name and where are you calling from? Mazi, good evening. Good evening from here, my brother. My name is Collins. Calling from Hamburg, Damini. Mazi, I hold it to you. I hold it all the beer friends all over the world. I hold it to my leader, the only man I have. I hold it to everybody. Mazi, I want to complain once again. I'm all the way from Biafra, almost two weeks now, back in Germany. Mazi, I have a lot to say. One thing I want to say uh, now is about this Yoruba church. A pastor came to my village and collected 300,000 naira in the name of praying deliverance. Mazi, I met the pastor the day of the congregation, the day they are making the prayer. I told the pastor, stop all this nonsense. He's preaching that in this December, I have it been to, he make, he make it a, a, a three days prayer. And said, after this, after I said this thing, I will post the pastor on the, I will post this thing in Facebook because I, I video the man. I said, master, stop this thing you are doing. You collected 300,000 in, in the name of the, in this village and say you, are, you want to liberate everybody. We don't have any problem in this village. And people were shouting, no, brother, why are you saying this? Why are you saying I said, no. How can he collect 300,000 for praying? 
and he prophesied that in three in 21 days somebody in this village will, will, will have karma infinity i said man stop this thing you are saying stop it how can somebody ride a hammer why he don't have a job how can somebody have an infinity why he don't have something he don't have even something uh, selling i challenged this man he was pouring the oil i said please don't let this oil to touch me after this pro after i said this and i will post this man on the facebook there are those who were going around and, and looting our people even when I said it, somebody, when I wanted to open a, 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 a unit in my village, they told me that if I open the unit, our Elze, our, our we called police. I said, let him call. And I have complained about this Elze in this Radio Biafra, that they met the, the cat Elze in village, in the bush where he's sleeping another man's, another man's woman. When Biafra come, I will give, I, I will tell them, I will complain. All these people in my village, Mazi, all these people that are going to these churches, they should stop it. They Always put in Yoruba. It. Always put in Yoruba there. Because any Biafran pastor that mess up, like you said, we know where to deal with them. Ahmad Yoha and Abino Mabi will come for all of them. But the Yoruba, let them go and Yoruba their own people. That is the problem. Yoruba people are the problem. Look at Yoruba now. 80% are Muslim. They are the one doing Father Christmas now with Fulani. Answers. Thank you very much. Man. We must continue. God bless you, man. Yes. Caller on the line, your name and where are you calling from? Tell us how much your governor has stolen. Tell us what these criminals are doing. Caller on WhatsApp. Good evening from here, Monitoring Spirit. Go ahead, please. all over the I beg you, the name of people Guardian. The Afra project is cash money. If I have, before you go to Guardian and the back, I will make sure that I want to do stop every part of the Afra land that I want to do. This project is this project, that money you have, that money you have. The only value it will be for you is to invest it in Biafra because you can't Biafra. That money is valueless because you don't need to be. That is just it. I'm telling you because you think. Don't think that our leader is joking. Our leader is not joking. And our leader is God saying, why can't we see it? Let everybody, why? What? If you don't, something is about to happen. You people cannot understand. I am telling you because I am not into the Afra process to buy cat. I want if you can divert us, we are talking to you can listen. The Afra is a religion. We have Catholic, they are the same. Listen. You have a center. All these people are still there are all the same. Our God is our only religion. is our own God. All the way we are here. That is no spiritual thought is like a gap. I want to know how you are. I want to know how you are. Talk with other people. No, 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 no. Let's have a nice. I want to know how you are. I want to know how you are. I want to know how you are. Who are you? And I still have to remind you. From now to 30 seconds, we shall use our IRP. Let's go to the IRP. The next one that our body is going to come. I have to tell my father, Trump. I love this woman because I know it's a little bit. That's the amount that you use and you clear the reason as capital. Therefore, I say, who might it? We tell the boys who want to kill us. They are killing us every day. They are killing us in the water. When we are not in the immigration, they must even more one of our brother for the matter is dead. What is it I will never forget the type of Kaka. I will never. I said, no, what every anybody do because you do let the run up like again. So the only one who will get to know get a day. And I want to say, this is going to be in the new day. We are just telling you because I want to say, it's a very simple blockchain. Let me tell you. 
But you don't because this is still the platform shop in Thailand. So that there were people who share in this. That's the only way I knew now. I knew the picture. I'm a part of the media. I'm a part of the high team. I'm a part of the media. Then I didn't even know what else can I do with the media. If they allow me to carry on, who is that? So that I will stop for me. Who is that? But that's the kind of lesson. Every network, the more money you pay, for you, I don't want to follow up because I don't want to follow up. Don't go, don't go. Whatever you are talking is not said. It's the same as the alpha. Or everybody go down. That's only if you go to the client. Thank you very much. We must continue. When you call, you know your governor has stolen money, your, the police, DPO, all the atrocity. This is the time for you to air your view. Let the new American ambassador to Nigeria know what they are doing. All of them are the same. Call on WhatsApp, are you there? Call on WhatsApp, are you there? Of course, that is your epileptic network. But we must continue. Our people must understand. When it comes to this criminal who are managing this company called Nigeria, there will be no hiding place for them. That everybody must understand why we do what we do. Caller on WhatsApp, are you there or you are not ready? Caller on WhatsApp. Of course, that is how some people behave, but we must continue. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Good morning, Mazani. Yes, good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Okay. My name is uh, Maze James Mabuane. By the grace of God, I'm now the coordinator of a Paju City branch, South Korea. I hear from Enugu, Jukoka, local government to be a friend. land. Mazani, I bless you and keep you for the good work you are doing for restoration of Biafra. It's not easy morning, evening, afternoon, be on the air, fighting for what God has ordained you to do for us. May he keep you. Uh, the lives of Nigeria has gone beyond uh, uh, expectation. And the, go the whole world is listening. The whole world is watching closely what is happening to us. The way they feel flanimen all over our land to kill us, to intimidate us, to molest us, so that we will not be able to speak out. But God, Chukwo Kikabi has ordained it, that it must, it must come to pass. I'm just begging every Biafra around the world to focus, to keep on going on, to do whatever is needed to do for us to get what we want. And I'm begging all the, the people that call themselves elite in our land, our own Biafra land, even the rich towards, even the governors. Because no change came on and Naka Jiva. Nobody had a man on their own because of a E. O. T. H. T. K. W. T. D. D. Z. So I have made the writing. I'm on check. Ika agape godi. It has passed hand check. And any checking that pass hand check, any greeting that pass hand check, has gone to another level. We are at another level right now. So we beg all of them to join what we are doing. Anywhere you are, if you are a Biafran and you have not joined IPOP, please. Go on and join IPOB because our Mazi, our able leader Mazi Nandekano, has made it clear for us. No matter what you do, when you do good, you do for yourself. You do bad, you do you do for yourself. Biafra is the only way for us to restore our land. No matter what you make in abroad, no matter what you make in anywhere you are, but you have no home, you are nobody. That's why I'm calling now to beg them. Please, anything you can do, umu Biafra no no wanine. Puna ingwe te yae, contribute your own. Biafra must come to pass. It's not a joke matter. We are not playing here. Daluma zonyibe. May God bless you. Thank you very much. We must continue. Biafrans across the globe must understand restoration of Biafra is the reason why we are here. And no matter what the enemy does, 
Biafra must be restored. In their very eyes. Call on the line your name and where are you calling from? Of course, we lose that caller, but we must continue. Our people must remain focused. Our people must understand that if we fail to fight to restore Biafra, these people are already fighting to stop us. Caller on the line your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. Go ahead, please. Yeah, this is Mazif Fayenwara. There's something I want to bring to your notice, uh, Mazif George Onyibe, for us to know, for you to know how uh, it can be handled. I mean, there's one experience I had before, I before Christmas. I was coming back from uh, Ebony State, getting to Enugu, Enugu, Oka, that's uh